Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and today we're taking a look at Linux Mint 18 Cinnamon. Now, this is currently in beta. We should see the final release pretty soon. And for my regular viewers, you're probably wondering why I've got such a big webcam view right now. Normally, you know, it's, I make it nice and little, put it down in the corner. Well, I ran into issues with Cheese, which is my normal webcam viewer. Uh, for whatever reason, it would not play nice with Linux Mint 18. I don't know if it's it's uh, Cinnamon 3.0 or you know something else that uh, that uh, they've added to uh, to Linux Mint 18 because it runs perfectly fine on uh, Ubuntu 16.04, which is what uh, Linux Mint 18 is based on. So I don't know what the issue is there and you know really haven't been able to figure out what the problem was um, so anyway I started checking out some other webcam viewers and you know I really wasn't happy with any of them I ended up right here on uh, Camerama and uh, what gets me on this one is I've got an HD webcam you know it's capable of, of 720, 720p but it's not recording in that mode and it's like each time I open this webcam viewer, it's recording at a different resolution. I had it open just a few minutes ago, and it was recording at, what was it, 8, uh, I think 860 by 480, and now it's doing 960 by 544. I, uh, you know, I, I don't get it. But uh, I'm going to turn the webcam viewer off and just get it out of the way. Um, one, I, I can't shrink it down you know make it nice and small so I can put it in the corner unless I come over here view and click small and then it gets so small that you can't even see it so uh, you know I'm just gonna get it out of the way like I said cheese wasn't playing nice major major lag and it was more annoying than anything else so we're gonna do this video just without the webcam viewer so anyway here we have the default look of Linux Mint 18 uh, you can see the welcome screen here in the middle and uh, we've got a single panel across the bottom what you what we typically have seen in the past few releases of uh, of Linux Mint so uh, you know nothing new and startling there got some nice wallpapers let me get this out of the way uh, so you can see the whole wallpaper that's your default wallpaper default layout uh, all that kind of stuff I have not changed so Linux Mint 18, we're running Ubuntu 16.04 code base, kernel 4.4 series, and uh, Cinnamon 3.0. Now Cinnamon 3.0, uh, you know, to me it's it's almost like a bug fix release. There's been minor enhancements, but no real, you know, new features or anything like that. At least the, the stuff that's new is kind of minor. Um, now one one thing that I did like is that where we have our applets across the panel you can now go and right click the applet and you get a pop-up menu so you can like here I just right clicked on Firefox you get open a new window open a private window uh, so if you had say LibreOffice pinned to your pinned to your bar or to your panel you know you could open up a you know a new document that sort of thing so I like that feature one thing I I'm not liking is the animation that has been add to a, added to a lot of the dialog boxes. Um, you know, and you can see it as I'm opening these up. It's a lot slower than I like. I like nice. If you're going to have animations, make them nice and snappy. And uh, to me, that animation that we're seeing right there is annoying because of how slow it is. Now some of you may like the slower animation and you know this is going to work out fine for you. For me uh, an animation of that speed is annoying. I, I want it fast. So anyway we've got little stuff like that. Um, minor and like I said uh, uh, bug fixes um, and, and enhancements to previous features but really Simon 3.0 wasn't there wasn't a whole lot that was new. Now just because Cinnamon 3.0 doesn't have a whole lot of new stuff included does not mean that Linux Mint 18 doesn't have new stuff because we do. One of the new things is some new theming and we haven't seen that in Linux Mint in a long time. 
So let me go and open up. There's our file manager right there. And let's go and uh, we'll open up. I don't know. There, let's just go back and we'll go right to the themes. So here under our window borders, we'll change the new theme is called Mint Y. Y comes after X. I guess that's why they why they came up with it. So you got a light version, as you can see right there, and then you've got a dark version, uh, whichever whichever works out better for you. Now, me personally, I like the lighter versions of uh, themes. To me, they're um, you know it's more readable. Um, I don't know. I guess that's the thing with age. As you get older, uh, the 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 darker themes get harder to read and that sort of thing. But anyway, so there's our, uh, let me go and change all these over to Mint Y. Now on the icons, I really didn't notice much of a difference on the icons. But I do like the changes that they have made with um, uh, the, the window borders and, and the rest of the theming uh, with the uh, Mint Y. It's, it's definitely more modern. Um, to me, I never liked the uh, the mint x themes is uh, and i know there's plenty of people that liked it i did not um i do like this a lot better uh, it's more of a flat theme i think they based it on on uh, the arc theme uh, but to me uh, at least visually i think it's a whole lot better than the old theme one of the big changes in this release of linux mint is the x apps now essentially what this is the uh, the Linux Mint team has taken a variety of different applications and forked them so that it's going to play nice with Linux Mint and um, will continue to do so over time. Now, at least right now, most of these apps really don't look and behave any different from their, uh, their original source, but my guess is as time goes on, we'll see more and more differences between them. So we have here for the text editor it is called xed which is it was based on uh, pluma which was the uh, the text editor from the mate desktop and then right here for the image viewer uh, that is called x viewer and it's based on eye of gnome and down here the uh, X player it's called that was based on on uh, totem which was the gnome video player and then the document viewer is called X reader based on atrial which uh, so uh, you know you can use this for uh, reading documents PDFs all that kind of stuff and then finally we've got Pix, which is based on gthumb photo organizer and I pulled a few uh, a few images from uh, pictures that I took last month just so I can see how, how it looks and works and all that and you know for the most part yeah it's G thumb uh, then and like I said they're they've just forked it a little bit so that it's gonna play nicer with their theming and that sort of thing personally I've got I've got uh, I've got two minds on this whole forking thing of all these apps on one hand they don't have to develop apps uh, from scratch, you know, they, they can take the existing code and tweak it to their own needs. On the flip side, uh, you know, maintaining and continuing to develop all these apps, it's that much more work for the Linux Mint team. You know, I don't know if they're going to have the resources to continue all this development. Now, on one hand, they kind of got some stuff off of their plate so to speak when they went to uh, uh, only following the Ubuntu LTS releases you know old versions of Linux Mint you know they were based on the previous release of, uh, of Ubuntu uh, with uh, Linux Mint 17 they went to following the, uh, the LTS releases so Linux Mint 17, 17 1, 2, 3 all of them were based on uh, Ubuntu 14.04. We'll see the same thing for the next two years with the Linux Mint 18 series. So 
they're not having to keep up with as much of the Ubuntu code base. Um, but once again, you know, uh, do they have the resources to continue developing all these applications as, as they, they follow through with this X, X app project? I mean, I hope they do because I like the idea. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. There have been some improvements to the update manager. For one, it plays nice with themes other than the Mint X theme now. That that used to be an issue. If you installed any other theme, uh, the, the update manager just looked terrible. Um, now it, it, it plays nice with, with other themes. You also have a new, uh, when you first, the first time you use the update manager, you'll get an option screen. And I took a screenshot of it. Um, you get this screen right here. It gives you the um, three different options as far as doing updates. Um, from the lowest, I guess you call it the lowest level, uh, that, where they say recommended for novice users, only updates that absolutely will not break your system are installed. The middle option, it'll install those, those non-breakage uh, uh, options automatically for you and it'll give you the option of you know do you want to install other maybe not quite as safe and stable uh, uh, updates and then you got the the top tier um, which is always update everything recommended for experienced users it'll automatically install all the updates and if you break something you're gonna fix it on your own so anyway, you get that first screen there. I'll let you go and select that. And then uh, other changes are, uh, let me find it here. Uh, oh, on the Linux kernel screen. You click on Linux kernels. You get this uh, initial dialog box. It gives you some warnings about uh, what can happen when you go and change kernels and all that kind of stuff. Continue on and you can see what kernels that you have installed and um, you know what's available that sort of thing there's been a lot of general improvements overall a lot of the applications that used to be GTK 2 applications they've been ported over to GTK 3 we've also got some uh, some better file system support uh, XFAT is supported right out of the box so that's nice uh, so is butter F FS uh, you know that's uh, that's back it's installed by default so you know it's nice having all those file systems supported right out of the box as always they have updated to maybe not the most recent release of, of all these diff all the different applications but a more recent release and uh, Usually it is the most recent stable release. Uh, so, you know, you're getting a newer Firefox and LibreOffice, all that sort of thing. Overall, this has been a, a, a pretty good release for me. I, the only issue that I've run into has been that issue with cheese. Um, and, and, you know, I played around with it for a while. Couldn't really figure out what the problem was. Maybe somebody else will be able to figure it out. Um, or you know before the final release somebody will come up with a bug fix and uh, that will no longer be an issue um, but other than that that's really the only problem I have with you know, like I said I, I you know I mentioned that I didn't like the speed of the animations but really that comes down to personal preference um, the, the speed of the animations is an irritation to me um, because to me it just seems like things are moving slower even though I know that they're not really. But anyway, that just about finishes this review up. I uh, hope that you found it useful. And uh, you got any comments, questions, all that kind of stuff, leave it down below. I will try to get to it as soon as possible. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And I hope to see you all on my next video. Thanks a lot.